Revolutionary home of Lord Armstrong reopened this afternoon after 18 months of work. The house, the first in the world to be powered by hydroelectricity, has had a rewire. But that's taken a year, and packing and unpacking all the precious artefacts in the house took six months. Now it's all spick and span, and safe to welcome back the public. And I've been following the painstaking work. relaxing for this member of staff after a long day unpacking. Ten thousand objects had been carefully packed and catalogued. When the floors were lifted, the house gave up some of its secrets. Relics from the Second World War, when Cragside was taken over by the British Army. We found uh, a label here for the Annick laundries where an officer was obviously sending his uniform to be washed yeah. um, and that's dated 1940 mm -hmm. um, and it has all his details, his number and also what he was having washed. Hankies it says. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> pants. <laughs> It's taken three months to restore the collection, but imagine having to relay a carpet this size and then discovering it's the wrong way round. See that carpet there? Oh. It's over on that Are you side. kidding? It's where the pant pot is, so this is, this is that end. <laughs> In the end, all went well. In fact, there were very few glitches. It was thoroughly planned from the outset, so that we had lots of packaging materials, lots of protection materials. We have on-site joiners who are here to help us as well. Um, so they boxed things in and made screens. And so far, nothing really has been broken, which is quite amazing when you think that's 10,000 objects. Just the right length. Rewiring the first house in the world to be lit by hydroelectricity was a fascinating job for today's electricians. They used 30 miles of cable and left any original Armstrong wiring in situ, but unused. The new regulations, the wire is roughly twice the diameter of the old one. It's all had to be done because the old wiring has become brittle with age, uh, which is a common fault. It becomes very solid instead of flexible, and then it becomes dangerous. That time I didn't have earthed, earth, nothing was earthed, things like that. And especially the lights in here in the library, some of these lights, they were, they were just sat in a bowl of mercury, which was life. But that's how it got its power. After all this work, if you notice anything different, the team would have failed in its job. Cragside remains as it was. And the next rewiring? Not due for 30 more years. Great to see it, and the rhododendrons will be out soon as well. Right now, here's another landmark. Not quite the same league, though, is it? This one is the West Netty, the public toilet which once stood in South Shields and was made famous in this painting by Bob Ollie. Well, the netty was demolished a little while ago, but much of it, including urinals, was actually stored away rather than ending up on a tip. And now Beamish Museum is to rebuild it. Chris Stewart's been to Beamish to take a leak. Look. Well, I was born within spitting distance of the, of the place, and uh, I'm glad you said spitting distance. Spitting distance, well, yeah, yeah. And uh, I used it quite often when I was on the way home from the pub when I was a young teenage drinker. And uh, when I started to paint, I, I thought mm, a little bit of inspiration from that little building there. Really, it was nothing more than that. So, how many Netty paintings are in Netties around the world? Thousands, thousands. I'm um, certainly off to Kathmandu not so long ago. Kathmandu? Yeah, and I know there's one in the, the Globe Inn and the Falkland Islands that went down with the um, the, uh, the army during the Falklands 25 years ago. And uh, they're all over the place. All over the place. I'll get reports of travellers coming back saying, you know, the Vietnam and places like this. Uh, all over. Some of the graffiti 
isn't exactly politically correct, and I don't think you might get away with it nowadays. Well, I had a discussion with a lady uh. not so very long ago, and she said to me, and she was from the PC Brigade and the Inverted Combat Brigade, and she said, do you think that it's PC now, the West Unit? Yes, it's PC. How PC can it get to public convenience? <laughs>